that I'd ever done in my life. I'm an old lafollet boy. I got to sing professionally with Little Willie Wings, Hobie Lister, and the Statesman. Top of the world, for his gospel music is concerned. I was diagnosed with this condition that I'd never even heard of. How many has ever heard of spasmodic dysphonia? One or two. One or two. Uh, the doctor told me that if I'd had throat cancer, they could have done something. Nothing to be done. It's like a stroke. It's something to do with the nerve. Took away one of the loves of my life to sing. And these boys, how supportive, guys, you don't know. You don't know how important this bunch right here is. They support me. Willie calls me every month for a age to or not. Sometimes more often than that. I talk to Daryl Woody. I talk to him just about every month. They've all supported me. But what you have seen here tonight, just those few words, I would take a thousand dollars. Now, it may not have sounded all that good to you, but oh, you would have heard what, what it felt. E. We call him E because that's, that, he's E. It, it's kind of cruel for a hillbilly like you and me, or you, hillbilly like you, to be diagnosed <laughs> with something you can't even spell <laughs> or say. But Elmer, this business has never had a, a better friend than you. Amen. With the great things. Right. And if you never saw Elmer do something I can feel, i got to share a little story with you. Elmer used to have a hundred foot mic cord and he would run one end to the other singing something I can feel. It's an up-tempo song. We were doing a somewhat, probably 70% black congregation on a Sunday morning. They didn't have a piano, but they had a B3 Hammond organ. We walked in there and uh, looked like cows looking at a new gate, you know. Boys, they're gonna love our little country music in this church. And, uh, I said, Elmer, you want the long chord? No, no, just give me a short chord. Let's get this over with and get out of here. <laughs> well, from the first note of our stand, those people were with us. They loved these white country boys coming in there and doing this in Louisville, Kentucky. And Elmer got into something I could feel, and he'd get that thing going, you know, and he'd fly off of that stage. I said, Lord, he's going, he's going. He's going, and he went with his short cord. <laughs> and pull the PA set with him. There was a loud boom and all you could hear was Willie saying, tag it, tag it. Tag it and get out. Because we were done. I love you. I wouldn't give a thousand dollars for that, me that memory right there, I'll tell you. That is great. Well, you did another great song, Elmer. Elmer Elmer's got the insight on heaven. Because 10,000 years was great. I said, Elmer, you'll never write another 10,000 years. Wow, he went double or nothing when he wrote this one. Uh, what a day. Is that the key? Me and Darren will do it again because we couldn't get any other volunteers. I'll see the loved ones. And my friends who have been gone so long. The pale streets of gold, King Jesus, I behold. What a day that first day. 
and I cried. Oh. I'm serious. This may be really bad. Uh. Oh, the weary shall lay there. All the birds and the sick. Oh, the sick is gonna give up all the pain. And God's own hand yes. shall wipe away all the tears from her yeah. and death itself shall die. Thank you. 